In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a 15 amp outlet into a solid EMT metal conduit. For starters, I'm going to slice open the wire very carefully. Gently run the blade of the knife down the center of the wire. Now, let me tell you that I do have the breaker off. There is no power to this outlet right now. There's no power whatsoever to this outlet. I'm working with the power off. So once I slice that, I'm going to pull the wires out carefully. Pull the cardboard paper off the wire. And I'm going to get my wire cutters. Just trim that off right there. Pull these wires out of the way. Right here, if you can see it, I have a green ground screw right there. See how it goes in on this box I have right here. Now, the ground screws are separate, which I have right here. Pull one out. You want to make sure they're all grounded. On the box, you see something like this where you put the ground screw. Just insert it like so. Screw it in. My hand, get on an angle right there. And now it's starting. See? Then you can wrap your ground wire around there, which I'll show you. And you have these four holes for your screws. So you can put it right in your wood. There's four holes right here. Alright, so with these out of your way, black and the white, we're gonna take this, this copper wire and wrap it around that ground screw. All right, so we wrap the ground wire around the ground screw. Now we tighten down the ground screw. We get nice and tight. Okay. Now with this, we're gonna trim off these ears right here. Because when we go to put this in, it'll stick out the edge of the box there, junction box. And, well, this one be a little more forgiving versus this one right here, where you do have to trim it off. But I'll show you how to do it in this video. It makes it a lot easier. So, get my uh, wire cutters. Okay, you'll see an you'll see a line right here. I just trim them off. Easy as that. Okay, now right here, the green screw is where your ground wire goes. The copper color is where your line goes, your black wire. Well, assuming it's your live wire, should be, at least mine is. And this one, uh, the grayish color, that's where your white wire goes, your neutral. Should be your neutral. Okay, so now what we're gonna do Pull these wires, cut them to a decent length. This is right about there. I don't want too much. I don't want 
too little either. Then we're gonna strip it with the wire strippers. I like to put a little curve. specific order I put these on. Get in there so try to squeeze it together. Tighten the one side down. Snug. Let's get this one out of the way. Same as the neutral side. Put it on there. Connection is nice and tight. Ground up. that up. Now I like to wrap electrical tape around the sides. Just for added security. I'm sure somebody will have a problem with it, but this is what I've been doing for years. Be saving somebody's life later on down the line. So we line our screws up. Those two holes. We zip her in. If your wires are out of the way, don't pinch any. Try to do as long as possible. Put our cover on. Maybe tighten it up a little more. Cover on. 
looks like it was crushed. So we're not going to use that cover. I don't want to use this one, but it's metal. I want to use it because it's white. Again, the outlet's white, so whatever. But it's not crushed. I don't know how that one got crushed. Center screw down. And then you check your operation. Now I have more splicing to do on this whole circuit, but I want to do a quick video on how to uh, wire an outlet into a uh, EMT metal conduit line. This is for my uh, workbench in the shop. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment below. Appreciate it.